Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a chill, get ready with me. And I have a very exciting announcement. It's exciting for me. I found a lip product the other day that I kind of bought on a whim and it ended up being my perfect lip shade, like my My Lips But Better lip shade. So I'm super excited, this is it. But if you wanna see exactly what it is that I found and you think maybe this would work for you, then stick around to the end. Go ahead and grab your own makeup, get ready to get ready with me and let's hop right in. Today I'm gonna be using the Pacifica Crystal Primer. I don't use this very much because it has a really strong scent. Yeah, it smells like watermelon is what it smells like, like very artificial watermelon. And it just like hits you in the face. But I'm actually gonna be mixing it with this lotion from the Organic Skin Co. I got this as a gift with purchase with something that I got from them recently, which is gonna be in a different video. So look forward to that. It's called the Task Force 9 uh, Calendula and Turmeric Cream is what it's called. So this is what it looks like. And it has amazing ingredients in it. So I'm gonna mix these two. Okay, so this is the Task Force 9 lotion. And then I put a little bit of the Pacifica on there. And I'm just gonna put this all over the face. Um, by the way, if you see like paint splotches all over my hands, it's because I was painting earlier today. I have a little home project that I'm doing, but I didn't wanna take the time to take off the paint because I think I'm gonna continue it later after this video. <laughs> okay, so I'm in an Ilia mood today. So I pulled my Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation and the True Skin concealer. So as you can see, this is not my shade. Um, it's very yellow and I almost use it as like a peach corrector. So when I do use it, I always use it underneath the foundation that I'm using that day. I also with this concealer really recommend letting it sit. So like I have a damp sponge here, but I'm going to let it sit for just a second before I blend it out. Okay, that's dried down a little bit. So I'm just going to use this damp sponge to blend that out. So I'm gonna go in with the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer, but I'm gonna shake it up really well first. I do this with all my liquid foundations. So what are you guys doing on your quarantine day? I don't know what day it is for you guys, but gosh, I've lost track at this point. I have depression. I don't know if I've mentioned that on my channel before. I think I've been feeling it not in like teary sadness days, but more just like losing motivation on certain days. I'm going in with one more pump of this. So yeah, it's, it's kind of been that kind of gosh, entire quarantine experience for me. I can't even lie and say it was just yesterday. I mean, I've had a couple days like that, but I'm glad today is better. Next, I'm gonna take my Well People Bio Base Baked Brightener, and I'm just gonna swirl it on a big fluffy brush and just kind of glide this. Um, underneath the eyes first is where I'm gonna concentrate it. And I like doing this kind of as like a brightening technique. It does say it's a brightener. I know that a lot of people debate what this product is actually supposed to be used for. And I guess it's kind of a multi-purpose product, but it's a little weird because you really only see multi-purpose products in like colorful products in clean beauty. Well, in all beauty. I think it just kind of throws people for a loop when they see something like this and they're like, is it a highlight? Is it a setting powder? What is it? But I like to use it as an under eye brightener. So I'll hit my dark under circles um, and just kind of set my concealer and foundation with it. And then I'll take like more of a light sweep over the rest of my face and just kind of let it bring a little bit of glow. It's very, very subtle, but I like it a lot. So as you can see, I still have a couple little problem areas showing through here, but that's okay. That's kind of what I'm in the mood for today. I don't want to cover everything up. So next I'm going to go in with the Ilia Multi Stick. I know this is just an Ilia video, um, but this is in the shade At Last and I am so in love with this. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm going to use it on my cheeks today and I just put it directly on most of the time. And I'm also going to use it on my eyes. And to blend this out, I'm just going to use this fluffy brush here. I'm just gonna dust a little bit, whatever is left across the tip of the nose. And then I kind of want more pigment on my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with my finger and just warm up the product and then swipe it on. And I kind of blended it almost up to the eyebrow, as you might've seen. I kind of like doing that for an all over wash of color. I don't want any defined lines for today's look. Then before I do brows and mascara, I'm gonna go in with two Coco Kind products. So I have the May Light Highlight Stick. It's kind of a champagne-y color. And then I have the Chaga Glow Bronzer. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go around the perimeter of the face with the bronzer first and blend that out. And then I'm gonna go in with the 
highlighter. But with this product, I actually apply it directly a lot of the time. But since I have quite a few products on my cheeks already, um, this one, I think I'll probably just dab onto my fingers and kind of play with. So I'll speed you guys through that. But just so you know, that's kind of how I plan on using these today. All right, those products are on, as you can see. They're just beautiful. I actually started with the Chaga Glow Stick. That was the first thing I ever got from Coco Kind. And I got it far before I got this Maylight uh, stick. And this one I've only had for, well, I guess I've had it for a few months now, but this one I've had over a year. This one I am in love with. It is the most beautiful thing. And I actually use it on the eyes more than I used it on the face. When I just want like a bronzed all over glowy beachy look almost, then I use this just all over the eye and it makes my eyes pop and it's beautiful. But this is growing on me a lot, the highlight. So those are options for you if you're interested. And I think you can get them at Target. For brow, I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. Wow Brow. This product is just good. I mean, if you wanted to get it, I would recommend it. It's definitely, you know, it does the job. It isn't the cleanest brand that you can find out there, but it's a big scale, guys. So I still am gonna review brands like this for you every once in a while. A cruelty-free brand like e.l.f. that is affordable and honestly has good performing products is a good place to start if you're trying to make a uh, transition into clean and green beauty. So I'm gonna go into mascara with the Well People Expressionist Mascara. All right, mascara is on. I do have the mini of this and I really, really like this. I think I would repurchase it in a bigger size, but I also love when brands sell minis of mascara specifically because I have one, so many to try on the channel, but also I don't actually use up all of a mascara before it dries. And I think a lot of the time people mistake drying out a mascara for actually using it up completely. And I don't think that's true. I really like that Well People sells the mini size and I think, I'll probably continue to just buy the mini from them because I love the mascara. It's easier to travel with in a mini and then I know that I'm more likely to use the entire product up. Okay guys, so the long awaited My Lips But Better shade that I was telling you about is from Mineral Fusion. It is in the shade Nude and this is what it looks like. Let me swatch it for you before I put it on my lips. I'm gonna line my lips really fast and then I'll be back to apply this. All right, guys, that is Ruth on the lips. I have talked about these before, but I really like these Thrive lip liners. They're so beautiful and they do what they say they're gonna do in terms of plumping and lip filling. I really like using them on the outside as like a defined look and they kind of just plump that area. But if you use them to like fill in the entire lip and use it just as a lip color, whether it's underneath, another lip color or you just use them on their own. That is also totally beautiful and has a completely different effect. All right guys, so we are ready for this gorgeous lipstick. This is really exciting to me because I haven't found a My Lips But Better shade in Clean Beauty yet. Okay, quick story time. I actually had a lipstick that it reminds me of that was a conventional lipstick and probably the first one I ever got that I got with my mom. I remember being at the grocery store when we were younger, like at a Walmart that also had a cosmetic section. And I asked my mom to help me pick out a lip shade because I picked out some makeup for myself before, but I always did it wrong. I always got the wrong shade of foundation or the wrong lip shade that didn't look good on me just because I was learning, you know? And back then YouTube was just becoming a thing and I watched makeup tutorials. I watched this one, Selena Gomez from Wizards of Waverly Place like back to school makeup tutorial all the time. It was super chill. I didn't know how to choose stuff like that. And my mom used to work at like a makeup counter when she was younger. And my mom actually used to model too. And so it was really exciting for me. And it was like a nice bonding moment, but she got me this, I think it was a Maybelline lipstick. Um, it was one of those, like they come in kind of a rectangular shape and the bottom is metallic. It's really shiny. The sheer lipsticks have like see-through plastic that's just tinted the color of the lipstick. And then the um, matte ones have like a soft to touch topper. Anyway, that lipstick I used so much. It was a nude color. It was my lips, but better. And it was something that she knew that her teenage daughter would be able to use. I was like a preteen at the time. So I used it all throughout high school. Anyway, I don't use that anymore. Um, but this is really exciting to me because it was basically this, except this is like the formula is a little different. Quick story time over. I love that. Um, did you guys have any products like that when you were younger that are kind of like staples to you um, 
or that you even want to find like a dupe for in clean beauty because they just have some kind of significance to you if so leave them in the comments down below i'd be really interested to hear what those are i'm going to use a lip brush to apply the mineral fusion lipstick in the shade nude i'm gonna go into the bullet a little bit just to build up the color on the center of my lips. All right, guys, that is it for this makeup look. So this is something that I would normally do on a really chill, like quarantine day, or if I was just going into the office and didn't have any big presentations or events, running errands, that kind of thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Thanks so much for sitting in on it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.